Good evening to you, Mark out of HurricaneTrack.com here with a quick Hurricane Pro and HD video update. On newly designated Tropical Depression 7, Hurricane Center has begun issuing advisories on TD number 7 down here in the Caribbean Sea. This is the track map over the next five days forecast to become a tropical storm. That would be Gabrielle. And then you see this curve here off to the north and east. Bermuda is in the cone of uncertainty over five days. The biggest threat will be the heavy rainfall in portions of the Greater Antilles Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic, uh, maybe other portions of Hispaniola as well. Looks like it'll stay out of the Bahamas, so that's good news for folks there and anyone planning to travel there. So why is it going to take this path and not come into Florida or up the East Coast, let's say? or even due west. Well, the reason behind that, pretty obvious for those who know where to look, this is the 500 millibar field of the GFS, uh, up at about 18 to 20,000 feet in the atmosphere, roughly. And this is a good example of the steering layer, uh, a good portion of the atmosphere to look for steering concerns. And uh, what we have is the tropical cyclone will be down here. And then here's the eastern United States over here. And what's supposed to happen, we have this big old trough right here. You can see all of this uh, curved lines. We call these uh, height lines. It's just like a contour map in geography or geology. If you're looking at mountains and hills and valleys and rivers and streams versus uh, mountains, for example. And out here we have a big old mountain of air, but over here we have a big old valley of air. Uh, so there's basically the simplest way to look at it. We have less air in the upper parts of the atmosphere. It's not as thick. I won't say there's less of it. It's just not as thick in the atmosphere over the western Atlantic as the air is over the eastern Atlantic. And that's why we call them uh, heights, uh, lowering and raising over time. And basically what it means is that the Bermuda High out here is just blown away. It's gone not existent right now. The Azores High has taken over. So our tropical cyclone has an easy path to head on out to sea following the stream flow. Basically, uh, if you think about water, it tries to find the path of least resistance and it uh, works its way down little mountain streams and creeks. Well, the same thing here with this tropical cyclone. It has no mechanism to block it and send it more to the west. That is not there. So it's going to find the path of least resistance and that'll be up into this trough uh, where it'll eventually head on out into the northern Atlantic and that should be the end of it and it won't impact the United States. Now this is not etched in stone, you never say never, but the trough I just showed you there is pretty he heavily amplified and that should grab the system and take it on out to sea. We'll see what happens. So there you go, that is a look at the latest tropical depression forecast to become Tropical Storm Gabrielle. Again, reiterating the heavy rain threat to the Greater Antilles, uh, Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, maybe some rain showers in the extreme southeast Bahamas, Turks, and Caicos, and then interest in Bermuda. You're going to want to watch this in case it comes your way with some squally weather. Remember, it's not just about the center. It's about the effects that extend well away from the center that we also need to keep a very close eye on. All right, well, that's it for now. Again, I'm Mark Suddeth, HurricaneTrack.com. This has been a Hurricane Pro and HD quick video update. I'll be back with a more thorough look at things tomorrow.